Hello guys, in this video I will be discussing about uh, return air, filter grill selection and take a look how to properly select them in the presence and absence of manufacturer data for a design airflow. Return air filters uh, are used and connected to return air deck grills uh, which can help to pull air through clean and return air to cooling or heating system. In order the air to be treated reheated and cooled HVAC system works are to pull hair in cool or heat it and then blow it back to into living space in order to have a clean fresh and healthy hair circulation in our home so typical uh, capacity is uh, 2 cfm per square inch of filter grill higher velocity will decrease uh, filter performance and increase uh, flow resistance and possibly be of uh, noise uh, concern. Velocity is uh, measured uh, one inch of uh, water column from face. Recommended face uh, velocity at 300 to 450 FEM. Determine the return filter uh, airflow by adding together the supply register airflow and the filter grill serves. Divide the return CFM by 2, 2 CFM per square inch to determine the filter. needed grill size in square inches. Find the square inch of uh, return filter uh, grill by multiplying grill uh, width by height. Multiply the grill uh, square inches by 2 to CFM per square inches uh, to find the expected uh, grill airflow. Note uh, sure the installed uh, return deck is uh, alto size and correctly installed to handle the required airflow. Let's say we have uh, an existing filter uh, grill area of uh, 20 by 25 that we want this uh, filter to pull a 3 ton uh, which is 1200 CFM through 20 inches uh, multiply by 25 inches uh, equals uh, 500 square inches 500 uh, square inches uh, multiply by 2 CFM per square inch uh, equals an approximate uh, capacity of uh, 1000 CFM. 1200 uh, CFM uh, divided by 2 CFM per square inch uh, equals uh, 600 uh, square inches of uh, return filter uh, grill needed. So in order to pull uh, 1200 CFM we need to increase uh, the filter grill size to 20 inches uh, by 30 inches which gives us uh, 600 square inches or add another filter so we can also uh, refer to a generic uh, return air uh, grill sizing table in the absence of uh, manufacturer uh, data and let's uh, consider the grill size for uh, 1776 cfm uh, return for uh, three existing filters 12 inches uh, by 20 inches uh, 12 inches by 24 inches and 12 inches by 30 inches so if you divide 1776 cfm by 2 cfm per square inch that gives us uh, 888 square inch of filters so we need to now find the exact amount of uh, cfm we need for each existing filter so let's start with the first uh, existing filter uh, 12 inches uh, times uh, 20 inches uh, equals uh, 240 inches uh, times uh, 2 cfm per square inch uh, we get uh, 480 cfm and then divided by 400 cfm we get uh, 1.2 ton the second one uh, 12 inches uh, times uh, 24 inches uh, equals uh, 288 inches uh, times uh, 2 cfm per square inch uh, we get 500 uh, 
76 CFM and then divided by 400 CFM that gives us 1.44 ton and the third one uh, 12 inches uh, times uh, 30 inches uh, equals uh, 360 inches uh, times uh, 2 CFM per square inch uh, we get uh, 720 CFM and then divided by 400 CFM that gives us 1.8 ton so adding these uh, all uh, numbers up 480 CFM plus uh, 576 CFM plus uh, 720 CFM uh, equals uh, 1776 CFM and then divided by 400 CFM that gives us uh, 4.44 ton and that means uh, the three existing filters are, are good uh, for the design airflow of uh, 1776 CFM which uh, we're looking for needed uh, filter size so that's it for today I appreciate you for watching this video